Hey everyone, everyone and their mothers are doing videos on the Quest 3, but on this one specifically I wanted to focus on the new mixed reality and pass-through capabilities of the Quest 3. Just in case, mixed reality refers to blending virtual reality with the real world. The Quest 3 takes this to the next level with full color pass-through cameras and new or upgraded experiences through the Quest Store, App Lab, or through SideQuest. Let's start off by taking a look at the differences when it comes to the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 when it comes to mixed reality. The Quest 2 essentially had black and white video pass-through that was limited in use, mostly to orient yourself in a room and reading phones and screens was damn near impossible. The Quest 3, on the other hand, has full color pass-through powered by upgraded cameras and depth sensors. I wouldn't say that the pass-through is amazing. It's still a bit grainy and there's a strange warping effect. But it's a bit like the jump between black and white TV and color TV, with that jump alone providing significant improvement. You can also actually read your phone and screens now without having to remove the headset, though you do have to be relatively close to make things out clearly. Responding to things on a phone can also feel a bit weird due to the slight distortion of the pass-through view, but I find that the negatives of the graininess and distortion aren't as noticeable when I'm playing a mixed reality game, since I'm so focused on the game assets being in my room anyway. The full color and increased clarity take mixed reality to the next level compared to the Quest 2's capabilities. It may not be perfect yet, but it's a major step up that enables new immersive experiences. Setting up a mixed reality recording was a bit of a pain in the Quest 2, considering if you wanted to actually record anything, you needed to use the third-party app or through SideQuest uh, screen copy. Because otherwise, if you were to try to record mixed reality directly from in the headset, your room would just show up as black on the output. With the Quest 3, just like with the Quest Pro, you actually have the ability to record mixed reality or pass-through directly from the headset. Simply turn on the pass-through mode, position yourself in your play space, and hit record in the share options. I took some clips from both headsets. The full color and quality improvements takes these mixed reality recordings to the next level. The blended areas between real and virtual flow together much more smoothly. Optimizing your play space is crucial for the best mixed reality experience. It uses a combination of the Guardian settings as well as space setup. While you can use the Quest 3's new scanning system for setting up your Guardian, for mixed reality specifically, I'd recommend actually doing it manually and setting up your Guardian boundaries slightly outside of your walls to give yourself some extra leeway. Then let the space setup automatically find your floor walls and ceilings. Make sure that you have optimal lighting conditions to allow the cameras to track properly. You can also disable the Guardian entirely if you want maximum freedom. Just be careful. In order to do this, you need to have developer mode enabled both on your headset and to your meta account. And in order to save extra time in this video, you can find a video on how to set up developer mode right here somewhere. And don't worry, you don't need to be an actual developer in order to have developer mode enabled. It basically just adds some extra tools and features that the average user wouldn't need. Once you have developer mode enabled, in your headset, head over to System, Developer, Disable Boundary in order to disable your boundary. This may affect different games in different ways, so your mileage may vary. I do have a little warning, however, if you decide to turn off your Guardian and record at the same time, the room in your output will turn out black. While it may seem tedious, I actually highly recommend taking the time to properly tag and mark furniture in your play space setup. Some mixed reality games can add interactive elements or decorations on top of furniture if it's labeled correctly. You don't need to map out every single item. Just key pieces like chairs, tables, shelves, anywhere you think it'd be cool to have items spawn on. Taking a few extra minutes to fully map out your environment pays off with more immersive mixed reality gameplay. Here's an example of one of my mixed reality play space setups in my den. Plenty of open space and lighting allow for seamless blending between real and virtual, along with some fun figures and books sprinkled around on the furniture. Passer video is integrated into Quest 3's main menu and home screens as well, so that you can see your actual surroundings. If you invite a friend via Meta's party system, you can actually see their Meta avatar hanging out in your space with you, which is really cool, although unfortunately, no, they can't actually see your room themselves. One area where current Quest 3 mixed reality is still lacking is proper occlusion, as virtual objects can't realistically hide behind real world objects and people yet. However, an exciting experimental addition announced by Meta is a depth API for dynamic occlusion. 
This should eventually allow for a more natural occlusion by using the headset's depth sensing capabilities. While not publicly available and that it's not in any of the games we can currently play yet, it is now available to developers. So this occlusion could help blend physical and virtual environments more seamlessly once implemented. Quest 3 enables some really cool mixed reality games and experiences even in its current state. Speaking of which, here are some great ones that I highly recommend that I had a lot of fun with. One game that really showcases mixed reality is Aspire 2 Stealth Operative. This stealth action title offers a mixed reality mode optimized for Quest 2, Quest Pro, and Quest 3. Aspire 2 grows and adapts to your personal play space with objectives like dodging lasers, hacking, and taking out enemies. It features satisfying gunplay and sandbox environments across missions tailored for both small and large rooms. I found Aspire 2 worked best with the Guardian disabled once in-game for maximum freedom. It's a great example of the immersive mixed reality gameplay that the Quest 3 enables. For a fun and educational mixed reality experience, check out Nowntown. This VR language learning app offers mixed reality lessons in Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, French, Italian, and German. In mixed reality mode, you can add 3D objects like cute animals to your actual room and bring them to life by repeating the word in the language you're trying to learn. There are also mini games and conversations with NPCs to unlock rewards, making language learning engaging. Nowntown shows how mixed reality can enhance even non-gaming apps to create fun experiences right in your own home. For multiplayer tabletop RPG fans, Demio's mixed reality mode brings the magic of gathering around a game board into your own home. Demio uses pass-through to visualize the game board and pieces in your living room. You can also have virtual candles and decorations added to your space provided you outlined furniture during setup. With automatic surface snapping and freedom to rotate the board, Demio makes you feel like you're playing an advanced futuristic board game IRL. It's a great example of social mixed reality gameplay. For rhythm game fans, Synthrider's new mixed reality mode brings your living room to life as the stage. Available as a free update, if you own a Quest Pro or Quest 3, Synthriders uses the full color pass through to visualize pulsing portals and reactive environments timed to the music. As you grab notes and avoid obstacles coming from the game into reality, it feels like you're dancing through a retro future world. With improvements to visuals, load times, and multiplayer, Synthrider's Mixed Reality Update showcases how music games can be taken to the next level by integrating your real surroundings into the gameplay. Definitely check it out for an electrifying mixed reality experience. For a satisfying mixed reality experience, check out Coaster Mania. This early access physics-based roller coaster creator lets you build the ride of your life right in your living room using pass-through mode. Place twists, loops, and drops throughout your actual space, decorating it with the virtual props. If you're brave enough, then you can take on your crazy coaster creation to experience it firsthand in first person view. With online sharing, you can try out infinite community made coasters too. Coaster Mania really shows off the potential for mixed reality environments with physical boundaries for an imaginative mixed reality gaming experience. For a creative experience, check out Figment XR. This multi-purpose app lets you easily create, collect, and play in augmented reality. Decorate your room, build physics-based games, make art, or bring Reddit content to life. Figment XR has built-in tools like 3D sketching, a voxel editor, physics simulation, and more for limitless creation. You can also find and import 3D models, GIFs, and videos to remix. With social features like publishing and multiplayer, Figment XR shows how mixed reality can enhance creativity, education, and sharing. In conclusion, the Quest 3 brings some major upgrades that takes mixed reality to the next level. The full color pass-through and ease of space creation enable more seamless blending of virtual and real environments. Recording or casting mixed reality footage directly from the headset is going to make sharing these experiences much easier for the average person. While the technology still has room to grow, Quest 3 shows the exciting potential of mixed reality. As more creators start taking advantage of these features, I think we'll see some really innovative and engaging new experiences emerge. Let me know if you have any other questions. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Quest 3's mixed reality capabilities. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest VR news, games, and tutorials. And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.